If you are new here, welcome. I'd like to start off with a quick joke. This morning in the cool air, I took a nice quick walk, but I got attacked by a cello, a flute, and a violin. I think it was an orchestrated attack. Hey, how you doing? Okay. <laughs> Hi. Welcome here. Okay. Windows 10 support ends officially on October 14th. So what can you do? Well, this does not necessarily mean that there's something wrong with your computer or your computer is broken. Unless, of course, you physically broke your computer. Duh. So what this means after, what, 10 years, Microsoft will officially end support updates for Windows 10 on October 14th of 2025. Now, if your computer is eligible for the free upgrade to Windows 11, yes, do it. Windows 11 is great. I have it on three machines, on three officially unsupported machines, and it works great. So these are your options. You can sign up and pay for the ESU, the Extended Security Updates Program for Windows 10. I believe these are only security updates up to a year. I think this is, what, $60, $70, something like that. I'm not doing that. Never will. But it is an option if you still like Windows 10. And if you do, that's okay. And you can sign up for this and pay for this for, 10, for one year of security updates for Windows 10. Or you can try installing Windows 10 on unsupported machines using Rufus. I've shown you this before. I've done this on, what, two, three machines. It works great. It's not that hard to do. How long this will work and last, I don't know. So I've done it, but it's not the recommended way. You should probably have a machine that has the official requirements you know, to install Windows 11. If it does not have those requirements, again, you can try this, installing Windows 10 on unsupported machines, but it's not the recommended way. But yes, it can be done, and it's not that difficult. Or you can try installing a form of Linux that you may have heard of lately this year. It's, it's all over YouTube and, and all over the web. For this recording, I'm using the fantastic Linux Mint, the Mate or Mate edition. I've always liked Linux Mint. This team's been around for a good 12 years, maybe more. In fact, this is what I'm using now to record. And I have installed this on multiple machines, including my 12-year-old Dell, which I, which I dual boot with Windows 11. So here we have a look at the classic Mint menu. This isn't that difficult to use and learn. Uh, to run updates, I can click the update shield icon here to install the updates. And it looks like I have a whole bunch of one gig of updates that I need to take care of. I just click install here, type in my password. And this is how you would install updates on Linux Mint and most Linux based systems. Or you can try something called Zorn OS. Zorn OS has been around, what, 15 years now? Something like that. I've tested this on multiple machines. This looks different than Linux Mint, and you may like this better. I don't know, but these guys have been around a long time. Team Zorn, as I like to call them. Yeah, just a great distribution for Windows users. If you wanted to try something like this and install this on your unsupported Windows 11, officially ineligible, unsupported windows 10 machine so these are your options or if you don't have the time to install linux and tinker and hope it works maybe you're i don't know a firefighter or a nurse a school teacher and you just don't want to install anything but you don't want to spend a lot of money for a new laptop or whatever well you can try something called a chromebook i've talked about this before these are Linux power machines that require zero maintenance. I'm, I'm just amazed. Everything works. You don't have to use the terminal. You don't have to fix anything. Updates are done uh, un unobtrusively. You just, it'll have a little pop-up with this. Updates are ready to install, to reboot. When you're ready, you reboot. You're good to go. Now, these machines, there are two types. You can go with a standard Chromebook, starting at about oh, $200, or Chromebook Plus, starting at about $300. Either one, these machines will give you at least 10 years of support, or maybe more. That is entirely up to Google. I can't promise you that, but for now, 
If you buy a new Chromebook, you will get at least 10 years of support. They are fast, they're easy. You never have to worry about malware, ransomware, or something breaking, or using the terminal to fix something. That's not gonna happen in a Chromebook. At least I've never seen it. So these are your options. You can buy the extended security updates. You can try installing Windows 10 on unsupported machines using Rufus. I've done it, it works. Not recommended. Or you can try Linux Mint, Zorin OS, or you can try a Chromebook. All these options really are entirely up to you. I, I will say this about Linux distributions in general, specific Linux-based systems in general. They have gotten over the years much, much better. Now, not all of them. There are about a thousand different Linux-based systems to choose from. And you can count maybe on one hand the ones that are really good that can compete with your, you know, Windows of the world and Mac OS's of the world. There's a lot to choose from. Now, if you have a spare machine and you like to tinker, like I do, I love me some refurbished ThinkPads to install Linux. ThinkPads and Linux right now are, are the only perfect marriage here in the United States of America, sadly. But it does work. So if you do have the time to tinker and are more curious, you can install Linux on, on, on whatever you have. Or if you really have the time, just pick up a refurbished ThinkPad, like what I have done over the years, and install different forms of Linux, specific forms of Linux. Linux as a whole is not easy. It just isn't because there's just too many choices, too many, you know, it's just, well, it's, it's called fragmentation. Don't worry about that. Stick with your Linux Mint, Zorn OS. There, there's a few others out there that you can try that can compete with the machine that you currently have, which I'm assuming is Windows 10. You can install it, and if it doesn't work, that's okay because you installed it on the spare machine anyway, right? But if you have the time and want to tinker and want to learn something like what I've done over the years, almost 20 years of doing this, I think you can find uh, Linux to be more satisfying, maybe easier to use than Windows, definitely much, much update, uh, faster update process, and it usually doesn't take hours to install updates or a new system as it does with Windows. So I think for you, maybe, maybe Linux is in your future. All right, I've rambled enough. That's all I have. If you have any questions or comments, post them in the comments below. I do read every single one of your comments. I may not respond to all of them, but yes, I do take the time to read all of your comments. That's the least I could do if you, if you take the time to post a comment. Does that sound fair? I think so. All right, that's it. It's morning here. I'm going to have some coffee, and I'll catch you on the next one. Arrivederci.